my name's David Allen. Um, I have mental illness, controlled by medication, uh, and the illness is bipolar. 22 years ago yesterday, I went on a business flight from Newcastle and I said I'd go to Norway with my brother for a week. I had a house in Creedon, kids, wife, we both worked a perfect lifestyle. On the night before, on the day before I came back home at the airport, there were two planes, one from Newcastle, one from Stansted Airport. Somebody put half a pint of LSD in my pint, um, which tripped me into, into a, a psychotic episode at Norwegian Airport. So bad I wouldn't even show my passport. The company owners were too keen to get me home rather than see what the problem was. So I got on the wrong plane, I ended up in Stansted Airport, and the ambulance took me to um, Harlow General Hospital in Coma. I remember the ambulance driver said, I had conscience, but I couldn't see, and my mouth was wide open. And I'd hear the ambulance driver saying, go through his pockets and see where his passport is. We're a Geordie lad here. So, at the uh, hospital, I was in coma for about six hours. I came round, an hour after I came round, my brother had driven down from Sunderland with my wife at the time. Um, he picked me up and said, just take me home. I had no idea what was going on, but I, I didn't feel well. I had one pint of lager. Just an aside, a pint of lager in Norway is six pounds, 22 years ago. Um, drugs are very cheap. Whether it was a joke or deliberate, we still don't know. I got back to work in the morning, but my brother hadn't turned in. He got the Newcastle flight. So I went round there. He was in coma. The ambulance were called. He spent six weeks in a psychiatric hospital. I was out until September, and I was taken to the Bupo Hospital, uh, where Dad had always paid for private medication, private treatment. First time I'd used them, and um, they wouldn't cover it. Bupo don't cover mental illness. So after a six days stay, the bill was a thousand pounds, 20 years ago. Um, in my time, 22 years under health service in Southern South Downside Newcastle, I've seen 56 GPs and 107 nurses. Forgive me for shaking, but I'm nervous. Um, I've had 31 mailing addresses since uh, the day I was born, and I had two up until the age of 27. So I think that gives you some kind of idea what, what kind of life I've had with the uh, illness that I've got. Um, I got divorced, papers served while in the psychiatric hospital. Um, I lost my house in Cleveland. Uh, I lost the company, family business went, that I worked for. But my brother and I couldn't run it. Uh, my children I haven't seen for, 24, for um, 19 years. They were six and four in 89, but now 25 and 23. I've lost the contents of my dog I couldn't see because my wife's solicitor stood up in court and said, my client's ex-husband has a history of mental illness. And this is something um, that Voices and Power are trying to do is to get over the stigma to the general public of what is really a mentally ill person and one in four can suffer from. My, my final point is this. A lot of our personnel are coming back from the Gulf in our, our Afghanistan with mental illness. The statistics are 89.9%. For the Royal Navy, it's 89 percent For the Royal Air Force, it's only 7.7%. I think because they don't see much of ground action, but there are Royal Air Force ground crew. It can be described, my illness, as akin to post-traumatic stress disorder. So if you hear of minimal health, think of the guys who maybe didn't go away, but have a similar kind of attitude. Um, this is all I'd like to say. And um, if I have reached one person prior, during, after illness, I've done my job.